You may have never thought about this, but people in the old days didn't die the same way that we did. These days, people die of like chronic diseases, they call them like heart disease and cancer and dementia. They have osteoporosis, they've got levels of inflammation that is typically not seen. But in the old days, people didn't die like that. And that people will often argue with me about this. They'll say, oh, they died all the time. The average age of people dying is like in their 40s. It's like, yeah, because what people mostly died of was infections. And mostly where people died of infections was under the age of five. So if you average all that together, then people died very, very young. But if you take out the kids dying under five, what's seen is that most people lived much older than we did with 10% of the degenerative diseases, 10%. Like mostly what people died of was infections or ultimately old age. But these days people live not quite even as old as that with a, with a lot less quality of life. And so this sort of leads to a question, well, what did they do differently? It's like, well, one of the things they did amongst a bunch of other things is they ate meat very differently than we do now. How they ate meat was they ate the whole animal. Like you killed a chicken, you would not just eat the chicken breast. You would eat the whole thing, including the skin. You'd eat the organ meats, like make sure you ate that chicken liver. Uh, and then you would take the bones and you would make it into soup. And all of those things provide a different nutritional profile with a bunch of different nutrients that you don't find in the other parts. But instead, what do we do? We just eat the chicken breast skinless preferably, <laughs> right? So the problem then is, is we end up with less nutrition and it makes meat be different. It behaves differently in our system because there's a lot of questions like these days, it certainly looks like meat is really unhealthy. And the question really is, is like, okay, well, what are the different factors that are, are occurring compared to the past? So for example, it probably doesn't work for us to have like meat on conventional feedlots. That's super unhealthy for the animal. Like cows are meant to be eating grass. They're not meant to be eating the inflammatory compounds of corn and soy. And when they do that, it makes the meat inflammatory. And they see this in research, right? Same thing. There's a difference in the nutritional quality of free range eggs, of eggs of chickens that actually are out eating bugs and grass than of chickens that are fed in, in conventional factory farming. Just like the same thing of where it could also be that meat is looks unhealthy is because we are taking meat and then putting it into a system that tends to eat a lot of carbs. Most people have some high and elevated blood sugar. Okay, so if people add meat into that, what happens is the proteins start to change and you start to get something called advanced glycation end products, AGE, which actually points to what they do. They cause you to age faster. Right? But that's a changing of the protein in a way it shouldn't be. And it's coming from how we eat, which is super high carb. So read the article talking about meat. There's a middle ground here around meat and it probably involves eating a little bit differently than how most of us have grown up eating. And it's a, it's kind of a way to look at like, how is there a way to be healthy that's like in the middle ground? Like maybe we don't have to eat quite so much protein. Maybe we eat a variety of protein. Maybe we, um, eat more vegetables instead and make sure we eat different parts of the animal, things like that. Like there's different ways to do this, eat healthier, buy grass fed meat, things like that. There's ways to do this because being vegetarian actually causes quite a bit of harm if you're not really careful. And mostly the vegetarians that I see have some element of health problems. It's not just a matter of taking a B12 vitamin. There's actually a bunch of different things that, that can um, be problematic. And I write about this in the article. So take a look at the article. If you have questions about anything having to do with diet, including meat, then just let us know.